Non, pas trop. Je suis un peu plus of sacred traditional area, Koroman traditional area, sorry. Nana Kusia, Chira, the second Omahima of sacred traditional area. Nana Nom, revered traditional leaders, my brothers and sisters of sacred, invited ladies and gentlemen. I wish to express my thanks for your kind invitation to be part of this August festival, celebrating the bountiful blessings of God on the Serpa traditional area. On behalf of the party that I lead, the National Democratic Congress, I wish Osama Yama and his whole kingdom, Afisha Pao. I think on the team. Festivals such as this Yam Festival are not only an opportunity to give thanks to God for a bountiful harvest, but they are also an opportunity for citizens of the traditional area to return home and reconnect with their relatives. But above all, it is also an opportunity for us to contribute to the development of our home area. This festival comes at the time when our dear nation finds itself in a severe economic crisis. Poor choices that were made by the incumbent MPP government have landed Ghana into a serious debt trap and has created a severely unstable macroeconomic environment which is marked by high inflation and a depreciating currency, the CD. This has resulted in severe hardship for our citizens and has created a very unfavorable environment for businesses. Taxation is high and is crippling Ghanaian and foreign businesses. Foreign direct investment has declined significantly and many foreign businesses are relocating to our neighboring countries. But the beauty of democracy is that every four years we have the opportunity to go to the polls to make a choice. Let us remember that elections have consequences and we must be very careful in the choices that we make. Ghana is a resilient nation and we must not give up hope. Our best years are still ahead of us. The NDC in office invested in significant infrastructural development in the Bono region and also in your uh, uh, in Sequa traditional area. Important progress was made on the road network in this region. Unfortunately, the succeeding MPP administration has not shown any commitment to continue the work that we started. And so in many places, even the work that we did on the roads has deteriorated as a result of neglect. The Birkum Sekwa and Sokwa Road is in a deplorable condition. The Sampa Sekwa Road is in equally bad shape. Sadly also, facilities that were commenced at the nursing and midwifery training school, which Nana complained about, have also been abandoned over the last eight years. The multi-purpose administration block, which contains six lecture theaters, three science laboratories, and one library, this project was at the roofing level when I, the government I led exited power. Unfortunately, this all-important project has been abandoned for the last eight years. Nkurama SHS is a model senior high school that was established by the NDC administration. It is arguably one of the best senior high 
high schools in the Bono region. During my term in office, we provided it with many facilities, which has put it at the top of the ladder in SHSS, not only in Bono region, but in the country. During our period in office, during our period in office, we ensured that we extended electricity to as many communities as possible in this area. Before then, the whole of the time district and adjoining districts were in darkness. As I've said in my earlier addresses, and also it is contained in our manifesto, which we launched in Winneba recently, I am going to prioritize the completion of abandoned and ongoing projects, such as the project I referred to. I'm going to prioritize the completion of abandoned and ongoing projects, such as the project I referred to at the Sequa Nursing and Midwifery Training School. There are many other important programs we intend to execute in the event that the Almighty God and the people of Ghana grant us their favor. One of the important ones is our pledge to set up agro-industrial processing facilities in all the regions. In the Bono and Bono East regions particularly, it is our intention to set up cashew processing factories. So that we can take advantage of the huge quantities of cashew that are produced in these two regions. The processing of cashew in the regions will lead to a better price to be paid to the farmers in order to encourage them to look after their farms properly. It is our intention to set up a cashew development board which will be similar to the Kukuo board. This board will be started with seed funding of $20 million so that they can buy and warehouse the cashew that our farmers are producing for export. This would lead to a better producer price for cashew farmers in these two regions. Nana spoke about peace in the elections. I wish to assure you, Saberima, and your elders, that NDC is committed to peace. And it's because we are committed to peace that we are asking the Electoral Commission to sit up and do its work well. We have raised issues with the voters register because the voters register is at the heart of any transparent and free and fair election. You cannot have a free and fair election when you have a defective voters register. And that is why we want all the conditions for a free and fair election to be met before we go into the election of 7 December 2024. I wish to assure Osaberima that I and my party will do our part to ensure that these elections are peaceful, they are transparent, they are free and they are fair. And it is my hope that the government party will make the same commitment and will commit to free, fair and transparent elections. We always talk about peace, but without justice there can be no peace. We will not make any attempt to subvert the will of the people by rigging the election, but we also will not allow any person, any person or party, to attempt to rig this election. The will of the Ghanaian people must be expressed freely and fairly. And when this is done, definitely there will be peace. Nanano recently 
We went to the Electoral Commission to ballot for our positions on the ballot paper. At the end of the balloting process, I was placed at number eight. I want to take the opportunity to announce that I am in possession of the eight. And as long as I'm holding the eight, there can be no breaking of the eight. And your elders, I wish you a very I wish that the target that you have set for your fundraising is met. We are going to play our part, we are going to do our contribution and the contribution will be announced by the chairman of our party, Honorable Johnson Asiedo Kitia.
Thank you. 